So can you like talk to us a little bit about your, your journey from that? Like when you first put your book out, was it just like, was it something that you wanted to do, you know, kind of full time? Was it sort of a hobby thing? And then how did it progress from that stage on? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. I, uh, <clears throat> I was actually, I had just finished my second year in grad school for creative writing. So I, uh, I was doing a three-year program in two years because that was as long as my job was going to last. So I was like, that's as long as I can afford to be there. <laughs> and for my, uh, for my second year, I was working on a, I realized after my first year was up, man, I'm halfway through a master's degree in creative writing and I've never written a novel. So I wanted to <laughs> one day, but all I'd written were short stories. And so I was like, okay. And so my, my family had kind of pressured me into it. And I was talking about, I was like, all right, well, I got to put my money where my mouth is and at least try to write a novel. And the deal I had made with my family was I have to try to write a novel and I have to try to get it published. So this was 2012. So at that point, Kindle uh, Direct Publishing was just kind of just really just becoming a thing. It was very new at that point. So, but I had still read some titles on, on that were, had, were published directly on Kindle. So I had started looking into that. And of course, in grad school, they don't teach you how to get anything done. But I had been looking at it uh, on my own and I'd been doing some research. And so as I was, I was writing it, I was going, well, what I can do is this book won't be good because I'm going to write it and it's going to be bad. But I'm going to write it and then I can, I can offer it directly to the readers and we can see if there is an audience out there for this kind of action focused, really stripped down fantasy experience that I feel like I want. And then we'll see if there's other people out there who want that too. And I was like, and, and if there are, then I can leverage it into a real publishing deal later. So uh, that, was, that was what I did in 2012, working on House of Blades. I finished it. I put it up on Amazon on June 1st, 2013. And then I spent the next about a week uh, sort of pimping it however I could. I was, I was speaking in my old high school that I graduated from. I was handing out cards at Barnes & Noble. I was just doing just random stuff. It's, it, didn't, it didn't work at all. <laughs> I, uh, I sold maybe like 10 copies from that. And then, uh, and we sold, uh, we, I ended up selling, I forcing like, I don't know, 200 copies. But most of those were from people who were just knew me, like my family and my friends, people who just bought it because my name was on the cover. So that's it. So then uh, it kind of bottomed out in sales. But after a few more days, it started picking back up again. And we started selling 10, 15, 20 a day. And we realized that word of mouth was getting around somehow and people were finding it on, uh, on the Amazon recommendations. They were seeing it and they were giving it a shot and then they were recommending it to people. So we were seeing some, a little bit of activity on forums and it started really picking up and it really hit max momentum a few weeks later. And when in one day it went, it, it went from, it went from like 80 sales to like 110 sales to like 250 and 300 the next day. Wow. And I, we, I was at a little tiny convention in St. Augustine when that happened. And I got the call and uh, they were like, I don't know what you're doing there at that convention, but whatever it is, keep doing it. 